A few areas on our radar here are see have seen a little bit of uh, thunderstorms over the last several hours, but southeastern Idaho and western Wyoming here, pretty dry the last few hours. Mostly Montana, a little bit into Utah have seen a bit. That could change tomorrow. We have a cold front that'll move in and could start cooling things down a bit tomorrow. Still expecting 90 degree weather, but really expecting a bit of cooling Tuesday. Those it could stick around through then and well could have a little wind with it and thunderstorms mostly in the upper highland areas especially the southeast highlands could see plenty of wind the arco desert as well as american falls reservoir could see some wind advisories tomorrow so be on the lookout for that tonight mostly clear skies in the snake river plain pocatello will have a low of 60 degrees rexburg a low of 52 st anthony a low of 49 degrees in the central mountains, mostly clear. Westerly winds 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight. Chalice with a low of 53 degrees, salmon 52, and Ledor a low of 48 degrees. In the upper highlands in western Wyoming, we're calling it clear skies tonight for most of the region. Island Park will have a low of 46 degrees. In Jackson, that number is 48. And in Yellowstone, well, 41 degrees, which is a bit warmer than we've been seeing. We've been seeing in the 30s recently. Mostly clear tonight in the Southeast Highlands. Lava will have a low of 56 tonight. Montpelier 52 and Preston 58. Tomorrow though in the Southeast Highlands, as I said, a chance of some wind, probably breezy. In fact, most regions will be a bit breezy tomorrow, but if you do go get those thunderstorms, expect some, a little more wind. Highs in the 80s though, 85 in Income. In Montpelier, we're looking at 85. In Preston, a little warmer, 89. Chance of scattered showers in the Upper Highlands in Western Wyoming tomorrow. Island Park with a high of 78 degrees. 81 in Driggs and 65, just 65 degrees in Yellowstone. Compare that to 90s in other regions. Central Mountains, mostly sunny tomorrow. Arco with a high of 86 degrees. Stanley, 80. Mostly sunny and a bit breezy in the Central Mountains tomorrow. Pocatello with a high of 92 degrees. American Falls, high of 88. And St. Anthony, 86 degrees. Let's take a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy dealer seven day forecast. Pocatello could be a little cloudier than we've been seeing tomorrow, but then plenty of sunshine and we do warm up to 92 tomorrow. Drop down with that cold front to 83 on Tuesday, warming back up to the 90s by the end of the week. Idaho Falls, we see lots of sunshine, not as many clouds tomorrow as in Pocatello. 90 degrees though, cool down a whole 10 degrees for your 4th of July there, warming back up to 90s as well by the end. In the Teton region, the next couple days, a chance of some showers, so just know that Tuesday you could have some showers for your 4th of July, but we do warm back up again there as well. And the Central Mountains, looking very sunny for the next week, highs in the 80s for the most part, except for Tuesday where we're a bit cooler.